Hello, hello. Hello. Um, hello, Mr. Carlos. Do you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Hey, hi, welcome. Thank you. Good to see you. How are you today? Wonderful, because today is Friday. Yeah, <laughs> it's Friday. Definitely, that is a yes. good time. Being honest with you, I was, I was like, um, with a lot of activities, um, and I was like thinking, you know what? Uh, it's Friday. Friday is coming up. I was so busy that I forgot that it was Friday. Imagine I had a very busy schedule. <laughs> but you no, know, the, the most important thing is that we are like, uh, you know, motivated and ready yes. to, yeah, ready to learn it and also do a great job. So, how was your how was your day? So, tell me. Okay, I have a wonderful day today because this was a normal day. There is nothing that make hard. All was easy. By morning, was relaxed. By noon, I was waiting for the four p.m. and that's <laughs> okay. Cool. That that's great to know. That. Yes. Uh, yesterday I finished the goal for my week because me and my team we we search we search a goal for our week, and so when we reach it, yeah, we take relax. Oh, that's that's yeah. great to know that. So it's an, it was an advantage. Yes, we're working hard from Monday to Wednesday or Thursday. And most of the time, Friday is easy, easier. Wow, I was thinking yeah. about it because, I mean, if you want to achieve some goals, you know, different things, you have to work hard. It's not so easy. You have to, yeah. you know, fulfill the expectations we can um, summarize in that way. But, well, today we're going to be talking uh during the topics and the classes uh, about jobs, about what we do, because we have different, uh, you know, tasks and activities that we have to develop in every class, right? And also when we achieve our goals, we feel satisfied because what we have gotten, and that is uh, something very interesting. Well, I see um, some students joining us right now to the class and that was good. And um, well, so we're happy, as you said, it's a it's a good uh, it's a good day, Friday. You know, we have fun, and also weekend we have different things. Do you have plans for a weekend, guys? Do you have um, activities to to do on weekends, entertainment or something else? Hi. Do you have uh, plans for a weekend or? No. No, teacher, nothing special. Just take a rest in, in my home with my kids, family, and the rest. Yeah, okay. and prepare things for the next week, maybe. For the next week, okay. Yeah, <laughs> but nothing is special. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I imagine. So, but meanwhile, try to, you know, enjoy your weekend. Uh, well, because we are busy all the time, right? And, uh, yes of course okay, yeah. Yeah. That, that's okay that's all right okay so let's begin now with the class and um we're going to uh develop different things related to the activities that all the time we develop and um i'm here in my job right now in, in my job and i'm not at home so i'm actually working here and then I go back home. So, but the most important is that uh, to enjoy this class. Being honest with you guys, I like this class. I like to practice with you because most of you speak English. And also, um, you are doing all the time your best to achieve the personal goals. And this is uh, an inspiration, right? It's an inspiration to, you know, to show that you're connected and you have had a, a very busy schedule, uh, but besides different things you have done, you're here ready to learn and practice. That is a very important satisfaction. Okay, let's start. And we have this video conference. Imagine video conference number nine. Do you, do you see that the time is going very fast? Imagine. So we are in the video conference number nine. That was uh, surprisingly, that's gone so fast. That is incredible. The time flies, teacher. <laughs> ah, definitely it is, right? You know, and at the same time, I just want to highlight that that we have uh, taken advantage. I mean, we are 
uh, taking valuable time learning an international language. Okay, let's see. Um, we're talking about basic elements to consider when selecting a training option. This is um, the, the, the most important points, especially when we are working or we have the opportunity to, to be in a training or a workshop. And yesterday we were talking as a part of the review um, to use neither and nor. We, we were saying that neither uh, or nor holds a negative meaning and it signals to not one of the two options, right? So when we talk about neither and nor, we're talking about two ideas or two things or two situations that, that should be in, in negative form. So that's uh, the main point of this. So we were saying that the verb which follows two subjects joined by nor must agree with the second subject. So neither ignore it. So neither ignore it. And sometimes you will hear it, uh, it used in the plural form, thought it's not grammatically correct. Like the grammatically incorrect. Neither Fred nor Jack like to attend the coaching sections. You said that you check here that liked is like is not acceptable because the rule says that uh, sometimes you will hear it used the plural form. Like in that case uh, is represented by the plural form. In this case, grammatically is not correct because if we are talking about negative, we talk about Fred in a separated form. And also we can see Jack in a separated form. So that's why we're going to use it in a third person. Neither Fred nor Jack likes the S of the third person in singular to attend the coaching sections. And also we have the other example that we said yesterday in the class. One second here. Neither knowledge gaps nor training needs are addressed without a proper action plan. So we're saying that neither knowledge gaps nor training needs are, are addressed without a proper uh, action plan. So you can check here that we're talking not about people, we're talking about knowledge gaps, we're talking about plural. And training needs, it's also plural. We're not talking about people, we're talking about things, situations. Um, but the correct, listen up, is this one. Look at this one, check that. The manager neither informs, and uh, so you can check here, informs is the, the S as a third person, this. The manager neither informs the personnel of his meetings in other branches, nor his team inquire about his daily agenda. So we were saying that yesterday as part of the review and uh, most of us, we uh, participated actively writing some statements, some, some sentences in the chat. And we were working with this one and he doesn't, we were working in the last two, the last, this one. Um, he doesn't, he does not attend uh, the class regularly and he does not learn his lessons either. Okay, let, let me help you with that because um, many of you did a great job and you responded in a very awesome way. And uh, we will continue with some other sentences so you can help me to respond in. And at the same time, make sure that we comprehend the topic pretty clearly. Okay, help me with this one. This book is not interesting. It's not useful either. So according to this um, sentence, uh, can you help me to transfer the sentence? Look at this. It changed the sentence using neither ignore. So always, if you can use the chat, we will use this strategy because we are checking and we agree, or if we correct the sentence, so that will be important. Number eight, if you have the sentence, please write it in the chat and I'm going to read it and we will check the, the context of the sentence. Okay. 
Okay, so we can also uh, check this part here. Okay, uh, if someone has the sentence, please write it in this chat, please. Okay, we have here Emerson. Thank you, Emerson and Mirna. Neither this book is uh, is interesting nor useful. Okay, um, it's a uh, very interesting in that case. And uh, this book, uh, neither interesting and nor it uh, useful. Yeah, so bad book. <laughs> this book neither is interesting. Okay, uh, yes, in that case, uh, this book is uh, neither is interesting, like, nor useful. Okay, that, that makes sense in that case. Neither is and useful, and neither is interesting nor useful. Okay, so we can uh, also get ideas about the sentence. The goal is to use, in that case, the nor and also neither because we agree about the two things all right let's see okay let's see the next one and we're talking about the number nine please let's move the number nine says james did not pass the test and peter did not pass the test so this is uh number nine is a very interesting sentence and pretty easy according to the structures. So you can also uh, help me with that. Okay, we have uh, Emerson and also we have uh, um, Myrna. Neither James passed the test, uh, passed the test, nor Peter. Okay, so bad for them. And neither James nor, uh, nor Peter passed the test. Excellent, Myrna too. So the sentence has an idea that is actually interesting. So that is um, the, the structures here. Okay, so congratulations for those. And uh, let's see, Jose Carlos. Neither James nor Peter uh, passed the test. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. Congratulations. And we continue with the other examples because the goal is to make sure that we have a clear understanding about the structures and we use it in a natural way. Because for us, when we are in this level, um, we have to first think, think first, to analyze and then we we uh, practice these structures for a long time automatically we know how to use it spontaneously using uh neither ignore using these structures 
Okay, we have more examples. So I want you to help me with that. Those are very, very simple. So you can also help me to check uh, the possible answers we have in this case. So you can also check this part. Look at this. Okay, help me with the number one. Is she is English, Italian, and Croatian? Neither ignore. Um, try to formulate the statement. The first one using neither ignore. So we are not attached to one specific structure, but we can also use it um, in a very simple way. So help me with that. Okay, who's going to be the first volunteer to respond the first sentence? Imagine in a conversation and you had to use the neither or not in a real conversation because this structure is for native speakers. So help me with the first one. We have to use just the sentence, that's the, the, the word that is in the center, yes? <laughs> exactly. Those are the, 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 the clue words. So with this yeah. words, you have to formulate a sentence using okay. neither ignore it. Yes. Okay, I'm going to try. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Well, excellent. So we actually have... Uh... But I don't know, because it's three three different countries, uh, English, Italian, and crash. Correct question. So, so you can use <laughs> and, right? The, also the coordinated conjunctions. So we have one here. Uh, let me see. Uh, neither. Uh, she's English. In or Italian. Or, uh, so in that case, we cannot use nor two times. We just used um, one. Uh, okay. Is Italian uh, minus crash or the symbol? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Uh, neither she is English nor Italian in, and Croatian. So you can use and. Remember that we use the coordinated conjunction. Ah, okay. Thank and, you. So Thank remember you. that our, the sentences are not complete. So we had to add uh, something else to formulate the sentence. Uh, so neither she is Italian nor English, either um, Croatian. So we use only two times. Neither she is Italian, nor English, and uh, Croatian, right? That's okay. Okay, look at this one for the number two. Look at this. Um, I speak English, uh, German, and French. Okay, we have one, uh, neither I speak English nor German in France. Um, in that case, we have French. So we can say um, uh, German and French. And it, it says France, but the word is French because it's the nationality. 
and also is the language too. But the sentence is okay. It's correct for me. Neither I speak English nor uh, German and French. Oh, neither I speak English nor German and French. Yeah, that's okay. Also, you see the, 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 the references and the sentence makes sense to me. Great job. Also, Emerson, uh, Jose, and Mirna. Okay, that's right. Let's move to the third one. This whiskey is English, Irish, or Scotland. In that case, well, we have Scottish to say the nationality of, of Scotland, so Scottish. Okay, so the next one, we have two, I'm sorry. Oh, Jose, neither I speak English nor German and French. So in that case, um, yeah, so let's see. Oh, oh yes, I have seen this one. Neither this whiskey is Scot Scottish nor English and Irish. So that will be Scottish, but that's okay, Jose. And the other one is like, uh, this whiskey neither is... English, nor Irish, and Scottish. Great job, Mirna. So that's the nationality and also the language. And that is the way. So you use neither and nor. So in, when we think about that, automatically we have to use that. Okay, let's move to the number four. Dear students, let's move to the, the fourth. And uh, we have here, they are Englishmen, Irishmen, and Croatianmen. Look at this. Okay, look at the next one, and we have uh, number four, uh, the number four, look at the statement, they are Englishmen, Irishmen, and Croatianmen. Okay, we have uh, two statements. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, uh, they uh, they neither neither uh, neither they are Englishmen nor Irishmen and Croatianmen. Neither they are. Uh -huh. Neither they are Englishmen nor Irishmen and Croatianmen. Yeah, that's okay, uh, Emerson. That was good. So neither they are, and also talking about the. Um, the nationality. Great job with that. And let's see the number five. Hi. Uh -huh. 
Somebody has the microphone on. So somebody is trying to say something here. Edwin has the microphone on. Okay. Okay, we have uh, more sentences. Uh, let's see. Okay, neither they are at, uh, neither they are Englishmen nor Irishmen and Croatian. Great job, also Manuel too. I like this sentence. They are they are Englishmen, but in that case, Frida, we had to change the position because when you say they are, it's like you are uh, using it in an affirmative sentence. In that case, it's the negative. Okay, but in that case, neither they are Englishmen nor Irishmen and Croatian. Great job. So that will be a good statement. Next one, number five, the grandpa likes the English American uh, pasta and Ital in Italy. So try to formulate a sentence because there are ideas. So you can change because the purpose is that you make a sentence using this word. So try to connect the ideas to make a sentence. So perhaps we're talking about English pasta or or may, perhaps American pasta or Italian, or Italian pasta. So try to make a sentence, not necessarily as uh, as the context, but try to use it and see what happens if the sentence uh, makes sense. Okay, we have one, uh, Myrna, grandpa, uh, neither likes English nor American and Italian pasta. Yeah, I like that. So she uh, made a good sentence. Uh, she made a sense about a sentence. That is a great job. Thank you, uh, Myrna. That's good. Yes. Okay, um, let's see. So that's good. Well, we have uh, after that, no one wrote that. So let's move to the number six. The, his future sons in law is uh, the Welshman, Irishman, and also England. So with the number six, try to formulate a sentence.
Okay, let's see. <clears throat> okay, one sentence. Okay, number six. Um, his future son in law is the Welshman, Irishman, and Englishman. So English, in that case, English. So try to um check. Okay, Emerson has one. Okay, let's see, Emerson. Neither his son in law is the Welshman, uh, nor um uh, Irishman and Eng and English. We can say English because that's a nationality. Great job, Emerson. That is a good statement. Uh, you can also use the the structures and also that is very understandable. That's good. So you can also see that in the chat. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have uh, Mirna, his future son-in-law. Uh, neither is uh, well, well matched, no Irishman and an Englishman. Okay, that's, that's good, All right? Thank you for that. And let's move with the number seven, the last one for this uh, part of the class. Um, this car is American, German and Britain. So you could say British, because Britain is like this British. It's British. To say mm -hmm. like we say in Spanish, Britannico. Britannico, la nacionalidad, in that case is uh, British. Does the word talk about nationalities. Okay, let's see the last one, number seven. Uh, we have 19 students. And I have seen only three and four who write the sentences. Five, five the most. And we have... Uh, Night team in this group. Okay, um, this card and mm, let's see. Oh, neither this card. Let's see. Neither is American, nor German and British. Okay, so that uh, makes sense. Okay, so let's see this. Uh, neither is American. Okay, this car neither is American, nor German, and British. Great job. So we are talking about British, the nationality. All right, so that's okay. Uh, thank you guys for writing uh, this card. Um, So in that case, Emerson, we had to change this uh, neater card. So we can we have to change the order of the of the card and also the complement. Okay, so the goal is that we can use this uh, as fractures in the sentence. Let's move to the next exercise. And I just want to congratulate you because we have been uh, practicing. One moment, please. English. Okay. Um, well, before that we move to the next um, part, I want to ask you, is the, is the topic clear or understandable to you guys? Is the, is the topic clear or not? This is clear, teacher. 
Okay, that, that's okay. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. All right, uh, let's continue with the following uh, topics. We are going to talk about trainings and different things related to what we do. We have different questions that we want to, I would like you to socialize with you guys, especially about jobs, about things. The first questions we have here is like, what is your favorite part of your job? For example, my, my best part is when we finish an activity or when we develop a, pro a project or when we become successful about some specific things. So what I want you to do is to analyze them and also um, select the best answer here. How do you manage your time? For example, in your job, because you have different activities and because we have different things, do you have plenty of time or sometimes the time is not enough for you or you have to do a lot of things that the time is not as you expected? So think about it and you can also tell me in that way. The next question is, what do you do at work on a daily basis? What do you do? What do you usually do? Uh, make phone calls, try to communicate actively with people, uh, be in sales, be with customers, travel to different places. So you will like, socialize about what you do. What is your uh, the best thing about your job? What I love is to have a personal satisfaction. Well, in my case, the, me, William Garcia, um, I can say that the best thing about my job is to see uh, the improvements about my students or to see them uh, reaching their goals. This is the best projections. When you see results, when you, when my students approach me and they say, teacher, you know what? Uh, I know English now and I feel really excited. You know, so I'm going, I get a better job because of that. So definitely that for me is the, the best satisfaction, my personality. Next, uh, what's the best thing about your job is in that case, you can talk about that. And what advice do you have for someone new in the industry? So imagine that, for example, somebody wants to work in the Cifredos company or in the judgment company. So what recommendation can you give to this person who is going to join the, your team or is going to join the company? So what recommendations can you give? Like never give up, work so hard, show your best. Uh, always manage your time, be organized. So what recommendations can you give to that person to be part of the team? Um, what hard skills should someone in your fields have? For example, just uh, Justman, uh, I remember he told us that he got many years in his area he has experienced. So what is skills a person should have to work with Justman? or what the skills a person should have in order to work with Sofredo or with Burnett. So you think about it. And the next one is like, is there a quote that motivates you? A quote or a message, a phrase that you have is like, well, my, my, my motto is like, never give up, try so hard. This is, this is my quote. Or a message, a phrase that, that always encourages you to do something. And the last one is who inspires you. For example, my inspiration is my family. Oh, my inspiration is this uh, president because this person always uh, does a great job and he's a great example for others. So that's why he is my inspiration. So think about it. I will give you a couple of minutes to, uh, to socialize these questions. And... Uh, So I will check the attendance list. So please uh, look at the chat because I will send. Well, you have the presentation, by the way, and um, but you can also ch check the chat to see the questions because I need to to check the attendance list. One moment, please. Let's see. Okay.
Okay, you listen your name and you say present. Um, let me check here. Um, uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Carlos Ernesto. This is not. Uh, Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Edwin. It's not. Uh, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Jose Bernardo Lopez. And uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Um, Jose Salvador Bernal. Jose Salvador. Present. Present. Okay. Uh, Josh Manatilio Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present teacher. Uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. <laughs> Kevin. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Uh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Osman. Is not. Um, Rafael Alexander Serna. Uh, Rafael. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Cifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present. Um, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. And uh, Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, good. <clears throat> okay, let's continue uh, working with the current with these questions, and then we're gonna have a short time to share with the breakup room, and we will practice with our classmates.
Okay, um, almost ready to socialize your answers. Yes, Emerson? Yes, teacher. Right, yes. Right. Okay, Sabrito? Yes, I think so. All right, that's okay. Well, so we'll take a short time to socialize with your partners to, uh, about the, your experience in your job, and especially some important details. The, the most important is that we can practice full English, no Spanish, don't forget that. So forget about Spanish in this class to, for the level that represents you right now. And uh, try to speak as much as you can because it's important. If there is something that perhaps um, you need to know about vocabulary, um, you can help each other with vocabulary and expression. So just gonna be moving around the breakout rooms to make sure that everything is okay. The practice is actively. And at the same time, if you have questions, I can help you with that. Don't forget to use the chat for the asking questions and also for the two chats we have. So you, you don't know how to say something, chat, and I can help you with that. Okay, let's uh, create the breakout rooms and let's see what happened. Let's go then. Okay, look at your screen, please. Uh, first question, what is a favorite part of the, your job? In my case, when I get a pay to my salary. Me too, but I don't know if I was able to say that, but I think the other favorite part is satisfaction. Of after some time, I finally resolve some problem. And what about you, Manuel or Jose? <clears throat> um, the the parts. <clears throat> Uh, my favorite part in my job is when when I go out to work in the field and and I I and I met and I see I I see I see <clears throat> and I see a new place uh, it's I have never seen. <clears throat> Very well. In in my case, my 
favorite favorite part of my job is see people transformed by the power of God. And how do you manage your time? I follow with a schedule to the, to require inspection or doing my activities always. Okay, to today. <laughs> in my case, um, some days I only train to do my best because I'm working in IT support and sometimes uh, the teens goes crazy. <laughs> so basically, uh, usually I have a calendar, meetings, um, time to resolve problems and so on, but sometimes the things are, are out of control and we need to do our best to resolve the problems. Great. <clears throat> That's great. Very well. Okay. In, in my case, uh, I work I work as a consultant and I like to plan the work, uh, my my activities uh, every day. And I schedule all the activities for the week, and it's for general. And I get up, then I go to work in the morning. I I read a report, and then I go for a walk. And I like to I like to exercise every day. It's I walk. It's about a uh, one hour and two hours. And then I I go back to work. And sometimes is I go out to the field, and sometimes I read to report. Thank you. Okay. Okay. In my case, I I make a, a list of activities in the morning, and order them by The next question, what do you do to work at work on a daily basis? My chief is pretty mundane. It's always start with the following up of the pending inspection. After they move the product, product testing requirement. And sometimes, uh, finish make a report about the, the priorities of the product or the inspection plans okay Okay, in, in, in my case, why, what do you do at work on a daily basis? Yeah. This is for the week. When we come day by day, the first we do when we are arriving home is we look our email and we answer them. Yes, this is the first that we do. After that, we take a, a little meeting. For example, if someone is having some mistake with the with the go with the achievement that we are looking, uh, to be honest, that is not a 
how do you say that is not a, a goal it's not a it's not obligation therefore we, we try to do it for for the good of our team yeah so we try to do our best way and work hard only three or four days a week mm -hmm. so every single day the first is that we see the the email we answer after that we get a little meeting and we take some feedback and help if somebody having mistaken and after that maybe by noon on two on on two and and 30 p.m we take the coffee and we we used to talk for the life. Oh my God, I <laughs> loved your job. <laughs> yes, yes. That's I it. never take the coffee with relax or something like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Como les digo, para no es una obligación, sino que we work based on the right, no, yeah. presupuesto, okay. otra forma de decir presupuesto que no sea budget. Right. Budget. Budget. The budget, the budget, right? Uh -huh. budget. budget. We have to provide the money for the company. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Therefore, we are not obligation to do it because the the budget is a is a perfect world. Okay. It's the best. <laughs> Therefore, we do it. Yeah. We, we, we don't fail with that with the company for that reason. The our director never calls our attention, even True. though when he see that we are taking the coffee. Okay, Thursday afternoon and Friday you are very relaxed. <laughs> so most of the time. Exactly. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> and you, Wendy, how do you how do you manage your time? ¿Cuál es la segunda? O la primera, la segunda, Eva. The second one, yeah. How do you manage your um, time? I work every day in the supermarket um busy different story such up super select on Walmart I think I think brand events for me okay it's Monday to Saturday you work in ah yes the uh -huh. yes oh. okay mm -hmm. and number three what do you do at work on a daily basis Sorry. The next one or the third is what do you do at work on daily basis? But I'm not, I'm not sure this Juan Carlos is there or was it? Okay. Oh, ah, <laughs> you the join. Mm -hmm. uh, well, in my case, uh, daily, <laughs> uh, I made that. Oh, I do uh, meetings, uh, answers emails. Uh, Present report, present reports, uh, do uh, administrative tasks, administrative tasks, and uh, assign resource, and I manage the network too, <laughs> and I make a quas environment development. Is is daily. Mm, okay, my daily basis is the same. Is I have to try to organize the 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 tasks with the development team. Try to that the the time that we have the at the end of the week the the time is um, complete the the tasks at the end of the week that do, that we program in uh, when they start week and that's it. They check the emails. Try to 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 test in the things and and a lot of meeting with the customer because they have a lot of requirement and we have to organize is is my daily basis organize the the tasks and try to to give the customer the best solution for the technology or the system technology okay uh, what about you Jose Carlos? As I told you, by morning, <laughs> read the emails and answer, try a meeting, uh, by already coffee. 4 p.m. we will get a report <laughs> of the day, yes. Coffee, mm -hmm. yeah, is the best coffee. way. <laughs> coffee is a part wow. of our job, yeah, yes. <laughs> so, do you drink coffee during the, during the, the day or the shift? Y yes. How many cups, <laughs> cups of coffee? How many cups? Oh, only one. Only one two and 
Yes, 2 and 30 p.m. Me and my team. Oh. <laughs> with, <laughs> the, with the oh, yeah, está llorando. Si with uno cae, nos hundimos todos. <laughs> José Carlos, with the semita, semita <laughs> de la alta. Yes, <laughs> yes, for sure. Yeah, si uno so cae, nos hundimos todos. Oh. Yes, <laughs> <aware>. <laughs> yeah. That's cool, that's good, that's great. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, people, people, uh, people, they, they drink coffee. For example, I have colleagues that all the time they are like looking for a cup of coffee. But, but something that is very interesting to me is that in, they, they are like this, this desperate. They are like, I need coffee. Yo, but what happened? So I need, I need coffee, you know? No, I don't know. So, but people, they say, because uh, honestly, they, I have heard from them, is they say, you know, I need coffee to have energy. And I say, wow, that is surprisingly, that's big because they, they like coffee a lot. Yes, teacher, because it's the caffeine. Yeah, mm -hmm. the caffeine, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You need the caffeine for your wake up. Yeah, it's like a Coca-Cola. And some people mm -hmm. say that the coffee during um, move all the time or, <laughs> or electrician, or, I don't know, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's, it's for the caffeine. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's the sugar. Because or caffeine, sugar. Uh -huh, because the caffeine uh, avoid the sleep. No. Uh -huh. oh, really? Only only uh, mm -hmm. only avoid. Uh -huh. <laughs> I read a, I read an article about oh maybe the sugar, yeah. The sugar mm -hmm. you 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 feel more <laughs> hyper <right>. hyperactive. <laughs> hyper, hyper, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. the the next question was the best thing about your job. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> in, in my case, I think uh, that I do what I like to. Maybe okay. this is uh, yeah. that, that's uh, important uh, that you enjoy what you do. Yes, <laughs> it's correct. Yes, yes. Yeah. And you, Bernard? Yes, it's the same. I enjoy, but I'm frustrated when the the <laughs> the the things or the or this when you not solve the problem as are you you as are you um esperas i don't know wait as you, you wait as are you wait. you wait yeah it's frustrating some on some occasion because the customer is very very strict and he mm. he's very all the time okay i need this for for i need i need this um the the solution but now mm -hmm. not in two weeks now mm -hmm. is, but in technology all the things is not is not now it's impossible to do the things in now and we have to program we have to schedule we have to to do the things and this is but i like it i like it i enjoy mm -hmm. my job hmm. okay and you wendy was oh or oh, jose carlos or oh. Carlos and Wendy. Sorry, sorry, my mic. Number, number three. No, uh, is what's the best things about your job? Ah, uh, what? Wendy? What? What is you can see my screen? My ya me perdí. <laughs> what's the best things about your job? ¿Qué es la mejor cosa de tu trabajo? ¿Qué es lo mejor de tu trabajo? Mm, inspiración. Your inspiration? Yes. Okay. Um, your inspiration every day to give thanks to God. Second, it was my daughters y getting a hidden life. Uh -huh. And you, Jose Carlos? For me, the best. No, the best. <laughs> the coffee again. The oh my God. The coffee again. <laughs> the best thing of my job is when we reach the goal that we set. That could be Wednesday on 4 p.m. or Thursday already the middle. The middle of the day. The best <laughs> thing is so, when the Wednesday is coming. <laughs> yes. So I say we are free. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Number 
five. What advice do you have for someone new to the industry? <laughs> the... In my case, uh, a quiet motivation is uh, the satisfaction to do the best way my job when I resolve the difficult problems. And I have a, a great with myself when I, I achieve the, the result that I want. I, I um I have a um, shared because in the production it always there there is a different uh, problems and you need a, a have a motivation in yourself always have a, a yeah. Post your, post your abilities to the manage of the elders to do the the best way. You have there's job to. In, in my case, uh, is see people transform by, by God. In, in your position, maybe you will become fake in your job. Mm -hmm. that, that's my advice. Okay. And you, Wendy, what is your advice for someone new in, in, in your industry, and in your job? Industry. Se me yeah. perdió, pereme. <laughs> in your job, uh, what is... Um, what advice do you have for someone new to um, the industry? That every day you learn to to the job, to the job, to in different ways, or meet people with different attitude. Okay. Mm -hmm. and the next one. What hard skills should someone in your field have? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, in my case, maybe it's a uh, no about yes. computing is is a is a, a requirement. Uh, uh, be quick to learn. Uh -huh. be, to, uh, be quick to learn. Um, and know or learn speaking English is very very important because we are a partner of Twitter Pro and the Twitter Pro is the the USA. Is. It's necessary to speak English. Mm -hmm. I am here for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my guy. In my case, yeah, the skill is try to learn, but yourself, mm -hmm. the advance in technologies and organize, organize. Ah. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you, Jose Carlos. Okay. For example, um, drink coffee, no, <laughs> please. No, definitely not. This is not a skill. <laughs> this is an habit. This right? is an habit. Bad habit. No. Bad nice. behavior. <laughs> yeah, nice. I like coffee.
the first one is that someone new should learn what what is the the, the work right and try to to enjoy it because if he don't love it what he is doing he will feel every activity hard mm. therefore if he gets some passion for the job maybe sometimes he will feel in, in difficult situation however he will looking for help and when someone help him he will try to to get idea and, and try to improve faster for me the first one is is passion Patient. maybe I, I don't know if this is a skill however i believe that the person who is trying to to in different position the first thing is that you that you have to know what suppose you have to do and try to enjoy with it because maybe your job will be easier but if you don't like it you will feel hard hard <laughs> yeah yeah the patient is a is a good skill yeah it's a skill huh. yeah that's my and wendy Ya voy. <laughs> Se me perdió. <laughs> what hard the what hard No teacher. ¿Qué skill or, um, debería tener alguien en tu trabajo? Which ¿Cómo? skill? En su campo ¿Cómo me gustaría trabajo? que trabajara? No. Algo así. Una persona Ajá. nueva, ¿qué skill debe de tener para realizar tu trabajo? Which skill? Yes. Muy complicado. <laughs> complicado en... En my work. Por... Por ejemplo, en, en, como se dice, en mi ambiente, solo hay ventas. En tu environment es just mm -hmm. sell. Mm -hmm. sí. Which skill en tu environment? En your yes. and, and sell. Which skill that person? Sí. Yes, perdón. Yes, porque. Good seller. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> es um, skill or no. En supermarket, en. Um, Bueno, solo solo promocionamos promotion eh, el promotion? pro el pro the product organize maybe organize the, the product uh -huh. maybe the skill is that person is organized yes okay mm -hmm. um well my I would be to like to work Every Roman, every, ¿cómo se dice? Every Roman. What word? Uh -huh. Ajá, the word every Roman in a fight in a what hard skill short, short, um, charles, um, report. Okay. Ajá, uh -huh. report, um, business, money, money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the client. Eh, eh, bien difícil. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Es eh, bien difícil. It's very. Mane mm -hmm. ajá, es manejar clientes. To manage. Ajá, porque tocamos dinero. English, English. Sorry, <laughs> teacher. It's very difficult to manage customer. Manage customer, eh, client. Our clients uh -huh. yeah. and supermarket and in Walmart super selectos and a story mayoreo teacher como se dice wholesale I think I don't know wholesale wholesale oh yes oh. 
-hmm. because you touch money because you have to manage the 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 money sorry yes. uh, uh, sorry you were uh, saying the, i had the microphone mm -hmm. i was just being yes yeah, so it's like a whole wholesale 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 is that when you sell uh by by big amounts that we say in spanish like uh venta al por mayor right so it's whole wholesale ah know. okay okay teacher Okay, no, next one. Hey. Mm -hmm. Sorry? <laughs> uh -huh. I, no, no, no. <laughs> uh -huh. Next one, is there a cute a that motivates you? <laughs> uh <-huh>. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think um, the human base super and more from what they think uh, that from they have. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. The human base so for more for the uh, what they think uh, than uh, that from uh, what happened. Yeah. Okay. This is in my opinion, Indeed. yeah, in my opinion, I, I I love this phrase, for example, because I uh, is uh, is according to technology, but the only way to do a great mm -hmm. job is to to love what do you do? And mm -hmm. this is is this this quote is from Steve Jobs, and I like this 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 phrase. I love because it's is is true. It's true. If you love that you do that you do that you do. You mm -hmm. you wait or you or you do a great job, mm. Mm -hmm. or you never work any. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. You are motivated and you feel com. You you feel happy and you feel comfortable in your job. Mm. Okay. And you comfortable. Comfortable, yeah, teacher. I have a problem with this word all the time. Comfortable, not comfortable. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I have, I have to do a planner. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just practice. <laughs> okay. 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 And Jose Carlos. Okay, in my case, sometimes I read one article that say you are not waiting for the right time. You are waiting for an excuse. There is no mm -hmm. perfect time to start anything. The right time is right now. And continue. And right now is the time to act. To act. Don't let your dreams die with you. Oh, nice phrase. <laughs> oh, nice phrase. I like it. <laughs> and you, Wendy? Uh, is there a way that motivates you? Uh, I enjoy my job every day a little more in Okay, the most of us were here again. How was the conversation? It was it was, it was good. Uh, so let's see, Sifrido, how was the conversation? Was great? Was interesting? Yes, it was very interesting. A good conversation with the teammates. Nice, nice, nice to know that. I was listening to all of you talking in the conversation. It was like very interesting. Uh, being honest, it was very awesome because you had a freedom to talk and also practice English in a natural way, giving your personal opinion and perspectives. As a way to use break of thinking in sentences can help us to maximize your skills. All right, so let's continue, guys, with the next exercise. We have a very interesting 
part. So I'm very happy to listen to all of you talking. I know that the time was not enough, but we need to move on to the next part of the activities. And we have now the following listening exercise. So it's important to um, work with listening. One, sec one second. Uh, sorry. Let's see. One second, please. Sorry, because I, I have some issues with my presentation now. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me check. Okay, much better now. Okay, we have a listening exercise, so I will share it like every class. The audio, so you will have to answer the following, um, you know, questions or statements. You have to select the best answer for each one. The first one is a lady observed on the floor of the man's apartment. We have three possible choices. You can check that. Number two, according to the conversation, what was the bad smell? So there are three options here, and also you can check that part. Number three, the, the home cleaning service will take care of the men's, and also you can see the best answers in that case. Number four, the cleaning service will cost a man an hour. We have three possible choices in the last one. Is that the gentleman's sister says that he, because his place is unclean. And uh, in this moment, I'm about to send you the audio. You listen and uh, practice. By any chance, if you have a questions about the vocabulary, you had a freedom to ask and say, teacher William, I have a question about the vocabulary so I can help you. Okay, I'm sending you now the audio, please. Okay, can you see this in the chat? Ready now? Yes. No, can you see it? Yes, teacher. Much better, okay. I'll give you a couple of minutes, listen carefully, and also select the best answer for each one. Let's go.
Okay, um, almost ready. So are you ready to share the answers? Yes. Yes. That's, that's okay. So in that case, this, well, this conversation was like kind of easy, I could say it. Um, and also, and um, I was actually checking some uh, important details about that. So as you know, I always, always recommend all the time, listen, listen, listen all the time. It's going to help a lot for improvement. And also you um, listen English, you practice in a natural way. Is you know, combining the four main skills is uh, very, very necessary. Okay, let's see, let me check here one second. Okay, we go with the first one. So you will help me to check this one. Uh, the lady observes uh, on the floor the man's apartment. Which one do you think is the best answer to complete the first one? Pizza boxes. Yes, that's correct. Number two, according to the conversation, what was the bad, the bad smell? What was the reason? What was the reason for the number two? Yes. Rotten eggs. Rotten eggs. Okay. What else? Uh, there's something else that was mentioned in the conversation. And um, so what, what was the causing of the bad smell? I'm not teacher. I'm not sure about this spoiled milk. I'm not sure. And in number two, spoiled milk. It's uh, spoiled milk. Spoiled milk. Yeah, it's spoiled I milk. Care. Yes, uh, because they have some issues with milk specifically, mm -hmm. like curdle, curdle, something like that. Okay, number three, the, the home cleaning service will take care of the men's clothes. What was that? Clothes. 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 The last. Mm, it was mentioned something about. Floors, uh, teacher. In that case, it was what floors, and also they mentioned uh, some carpets. So they talk about carpets. They are talking about floors. Appliance, as I will say, appliance, carpet, mm -hmm. blink. And also because they mentioned sweep, uh, sweep. Mop, so automatically we're talking about floors. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the number four, the cleaning service will cost a man an hour. What was that? Thirty. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. It's okay. too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> too expensive. Yeah, very expensive. You know. But these two person, it's two person. Yeah, the two people that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the clean. Yeah, they will cost men thirty dollars an hour. But this one hour, I don't know how long, right? Well, but let's see. And the last one, the gentleman's sister says that he doesn't have friends. That's correct. Have a, a situation in that case. All right. So great job with that. So it was a very uh, friendly, you know, listening exercise. So we, we can continue with the next part. So if you feel on me a moment, please, I need to check the attendance list. So I will be checking something here. One sec. Let's see. Okay, you listen your name and you say present. Uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Carlos. Uh, Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Thanks. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Thanks. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. Present. Uh, Joshua Natilio Serrano. Present. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. 
Present teacher. Okay, Kevin, Alfredo. Uh, present. Uh, Kevin? Yes, present. Okay. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. I'm here. Eh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Uh, Rafael Alexander Cerna. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Uh, Sifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. And Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. And uh, Manuel Antonio Escamilla. I'm here, teacher. All right, thanks a lot. Well, let's continue with the next uh, part of the class. And we still have a couple of minutes to, um, to work in this one. Okay, after the listening, we have a, a very interesting article. Read the following article and make a summary of the following topics. You will uh, see this article about seven tips to discover employee training needs without a structured instrument. So for this, I will give you um, a couple of minutes to read the article. I will share this, um, the link and you will have access to read the article in a brief way. So I will give you 10 minutes to do it or less than that. Let me see. Oh no, five minutes to read the article and get the seven tips. And then we're going to work in the breakup rooms and you will, uh, in a brief way, summarize some important points and about the seven tips, what you understood. Oh, for example, the first one, it mentioned that this one, the second uh, tips talk about that one, the third one. So one uh, in groups, you take one, the another students take the number two, the other one explains the number three, then the number four, so you will be talking in a briefly way about each, each uh, tips, right? So can you see the link? Yes, sir. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So let's let's start. Let's take um, uh, five minutes to read the article, and then we start with this um, with the class. Let's continue.
Okay, two more minutes, and then we socialized in the breakout rooms the information read. read. Okay, students, because of the time, we're going to uh, move on to the breakout rooms. In a briefly way, you explain with your own words what you understood about the article and then um, talk about it, right? So we have uh, uh, some minutes before concluding and I'm sending you right now to the breakout rooms. Let's go and practice. Uh, don't forget to join the groups, please, uh, because we are socializing. And uh, don't forget to join the groups. If you have difficulties, please let us know so we can move you to a different group. The article is very interesting. Uh, it, it, it's a method, right? It's a method. Ah, it, it's a method. Uh -huh. A new method, I think, because uh, you don't need a survive. Yes. It's directly with your employees, you're right? Yes, it's emphasized for, for the faci facilitator of the meeting mm -hmm. or training. And the, the statements, los argumentos, mm -hmm. are specific 
Yes. Uh, use uh, a technology tool. For example, this recommend use a uh, Google Docs, for example. Google Docs, and, yes. Mm -hmm, Google Docs. And, mm -hmm. Correct. And the 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 each employee uh, mentioned a uh, ten. I I I remember this. Ten um, needs of of uh, training, right? Yep. Yes, they mentioned there's they they have a a list of the ten training needs. Mm -hmm. After that, say this is necessary. Uh, await it. Each. It's recommend recommendation of the in the police. Mm -hmm. And uh, step four mentioned uh, you assigned a large dot, two thousand five uh, point in small dot five point each. Mm -hmm. Number five, I believe. Huh? of the group yeah is it yeah i agree with you in number four because we have to prioritize it's done teacher teacher We already finished. You are mute. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I was checking here the time. So we're going to go back to the main section to, uh, because we have one minute away. Okay. And, yes. Okay. See you. Do you, like the, do you like the article? Yeah. It was very interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. That's right. Okay, let's go, let's go back to the main section. Okay, teacher. Okay, students, well, time is up. You know, congratulations for the work done. And don't forget to conclude the, the exercises on the platform. So I hope to see you the next, uh, next week. So enjoy a lot your weekend and have fun. So have a beautiful night to everybody. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Thank you. You too. Good night. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Take care. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. We can.